I did not expect this. Yeah, you say my family had quite the collection. Uh, this collection you're speaking of is a treasure trove of magic, weapons, and... Wait, what's this circular dagger-esque looking thing for? What's that for? Oh, it's for killing them. What? Oh! So you're saying that? Yeah, it's for killing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's something special for us, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry, I'm not going to use it on any of you. Oh, of course not. Hey, we'd kill you before then. He's like, just laughing you off, Trevor being a little bit nervous, but also like, eh, this guy seems cool enough. I mean, he shared a beer with me, so, <laughs> he's trustworthy. He, I can trust him. Camila, she's more nervous, more on edge being in the ruins of a Belmont household, especially surrounded by so many artifacts as well. As obvious, meant to kill her, her and the rest of her kind. He's a good trying to calm her down, especially considering hey, she, uh, they're, they're expecting. <laughs> but Izuku is definitely wondering. Okay, so how can we bring death to us? Okay, do you mind sharing anything you know? Uh, well, <clears throat> for one, there's this useful little tidbit when it comes to going to and from certain realms. I'm listening. You see, if you were right about death, wanting to, you know, Drive Dracula mad, have a, a lot of humans get slaughtered, and you know, cause death on a global scale. That's that's going to open up uh, quite a few rifts. What? <laughs> if anything, if my hypothesis is that he's at least absorbing all the death, or possibly the souls of the dead. And with being so massive, he's going to be able to collect a lot of souls. <laughs> well, at least uh, his plan go goes into complete fruition. Okay. And uh, let's just say we're on a time crunch. We, we got a find a rift to step through. Really? Oh yes. Believe you me, if he gets enough power, he will be omnipotent. You know what that means, don't you? <sighs> yeah. He'll be pretty much unstoppable. <sighs> so, how Go to the place that has some of the most death. Perform this ritual and say a spell precisely, and a rift should open. Just like a large concentration of souls that have passed on. Uh, think about it. Uh, do you know any places where. Uh, a lot of people die. You do look at Camila. Camila, previously. Like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Great. Them being sent straight to the battlefield in which Shizuku 
died and Camila went completely apeshit. Trevor, upon seeing the carnage, he's looking at you. You did this? Yes. How did this begin again? Well, a brief explanation later, and they, like, oh my god, all you had to do was tell them how you felt. I know, I'm sorry, is it was my stupidity and whatever. I, I understand. Do you? Uh, I mean, <laughs> if anything, it's just. Uh, I know I screwed up. Do you? Pretty much damned all humanity. And your species. How do, how do you fuck up that royally? I'm so sorry. To who? Huh? Did you apologize to humanity? Did you apologize to the other vampires and such? Who are getting fucked? <clears throat> Let me put it in the... Uh, Nicer terms. <clears throat> Who are getting railed due to your actions? Oh my god, you couldn't talk to one person about how much you can. <sighs> it's so easy, is it? Trilogism, is it really easy to express your feelings when so long you barely had anything to serve anything besides hunger, ambition. Uh, uh, are you defending this? To an extent. I mean, if I was like Camila, hey, you know I'm right. If I was more like Camilla, if I was more ambitious to ruling over the humans as I drowned myself silly in blood, <sighs> I could see myself being as problematic as her because of her decision. <sighs> really? You, you really trying to I can't believe this you really want to tell me that you have done the same thing possibly and considering I'm one of the most powerful it would have been an even bigger bloodbath and especially considering that all the other vampires would really answer to me <laughs> <sighs> Well, either way, yes, let's, we have our location, it's good, good, great, 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 perfect, we, we have our location. <sighs> now we just gotta get all the materials and get ready to, there you go. <sighs> I still can't believe you. It's not my fault. Isn't it? Isn't it your fault? Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's yes. The ritual takes place and they do confront death and all his exaggerated glory. Him being pissed off at Izuku for ruining a Literal good good ass plan. Be mad at Dracula for not wiping out humanity himself as soon as he found out wait you're about to kill my wife. You should have been on demon timing. 
but he does look at the wheels like, thank you, though, for sparking this, or starting something Dracula was not able to do. Granted, there was some interference, I and Izuku, with no eyes, well, whatever. Camila, she is pissed. Trevor, he's like, come on, let's just kill this bastard and be done with it. I need a drink. You just had one before we left. Well, I need another one. Then you had one before we did this. Ten minutes ago. Well, I think you're an alcoholic. No, I'm not. I'm... Um, I'm a social drinker. No. Or you're not. You, no. Social drinkers drink on occasion when they're celebrating what? Well, isn't this kind of celebration? <coughs> huh? You think it was just a, we're here to kill death? Remember? Oh, right, right, right. We can talk about this later. As Izuku, he notices the wait. Looking at Trevor, there's a no way. What? Nothing. Nothing. Let's 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 kill death already. I want to see what happens afterwards. Can we be looking at him, seeing the smirk on his face, like, for someone who's about to kill death, or at least fight death, he seems very chipper for some reason. Until she hears something, too. Oh, that's why. As then... The fighting ensues, in which, since it's not just Trevor this time, it's a lot easier. He does still use the whip while Izuku tries to use illusions as well as other vampire ass powers, mixed in with one for all, which, yes, of course he can already technically fly with the assistance of Float, as well as shield everyone when it comes to the Black Whip capabilities. He also helps bind. Death. So Trevor, Dracula, hell, Camila, pretty much everyone can get their licks in. Death, of course, he is pissed. He's trying his best. To say, you started this. I should kill you first. Him openly attacking Izuku, stabbing him through the stomach, and just tossing him aside. Being shocked to see that I'm back already. Him seeing that Izuku is healing, he's like, wait, how are you finally realizing all his vampiric abilities? He's like, oh, of course. Should have seen this coming. I don't know why I didn't. It's pretty much everyone's wailing on death. Much to a point where he's actually being pushed back. As well as irritated, pissed, every name on her so you could call it for being angry. As well as concerned, because he was not expecting this level of resistance. Hell, let alone for them to actually show up. And although, yes, Trevor does have the help, it's not that, it's not completely easy either because hell Trevor can't fly and with his holy weapons it makes it a lot more easy for him to end up hurting someone else so yeah, you can imagine he has to be cautious of where he's swinging that whip he hits Izuku, he hits Camila, he hits Dracula. It can weaken his own forces, opening to a more fatal attack. 
Oh, look, you see if I... Sefa? Oh, man, it's hard for me to say her name sometimes. As she does start to get more and more worried of seeing how restricted that Trevor's movements are, he tries to, like, I think we're just holding them back. Trevor? He wholeheartedly agrees. But he's the only one who could really utilize these holy weapons and not get hurt by them. Or so he thinks. Because Izuku is not a full tentacle vampire like the rest of them. And neither is Alucard, who's had no choice but to really protect his mom because she ended up going with them because she wanted to see death get his ass whooped for ru almost ruining their lives. It's only when Trevor gets knocked straight to the ground, drops the whip, and pretty much kicks into God knows where, how far, Izuku has no joy but to risk it, and he starts using it. And though it works for him, there's still the issue of one, he still has vamp prism uh, buffs and whatnot. He's still technically a vampire in a sense. Two, he has never used a whip before. So he does end up striking himself by accident every so often. And three. <sighs> yeah, death is not wanting to give it any reprieve to actually learn how to utilize the weapon. So he does what the best thing he, he can really think of. He wraps the blade whip all around his hand and arm. He starts using it as a gauntlet. Izuku is punching death, allowing himself to heal as well as get more cut. This, yeah, this is a fucking bladed whip. A lot more dangerous than a raw hide one and whatnot. So though he's hurting himself, he's also hurting death a lot more. Death, though, having healing capabilities is not the same level considering that Izuku isn't taking as much damage. Remember, Izuku's not the only one attacking here. He's not the only one fighting death. The only real damage he's obtaining is through that whip being wrapped around his hand and arm and death attacking and missing every so often. And this fight takes a fuck ton long time. Luckily, Camila and the other vamps don't need nearly as much rest. Seva, Seifa and Trevor they need a timeout every so often. Especially since he had to do a long trek back just to rejoin the fight. Him seeing that Izuku is using his whip in such a disrespectful manner, but innovative, he has no choice but to really laugh his ass off, thinking, I can't believe you're actually doing that. That's just great. Uh, I wish I thought of that. Izuku. Oh, yes, he is hating the fact that he has to literally injure himself to definitely do some damage to death. Yeah, it must be done. The fight lasts for days and nights. As far as you can tell, it's been daylight for hours for him, but literal days for everyone else who's not a vamp here. So, 
though he is curious, like, how is this happening? What's going on here? It's just the fact that, screw it, let's just keep fighting. I have no time to second against myself, no time to raise it. Plus, over the details of what's happening, what's real, and what's not. We came here on a mission. <sighs> One thing is, Izuku, he deals a final blow to death by going straight through his chest cavity and crushing the essence of death. Or at least, who he's been calling himself. This causes a massive explosion, which everyone is able to get out safely, except Izuku. And those of you who have seen the anime, you know what happened. Those who didn't, spoiler alert, yes, Izuku is still alive. Still holding Trevor's whip, but also... <sighs> oh man, it took me a while to get back. Camila, of course. Izuku's been gone for quite the time. Let's say two months. Two months he's been gone. She was very much in mourning. They even have a grave stone for him right there. Izuku pulling a jo Jojo move was like, Who the hell died? <laughs> Who's the funeral for? Type shit. So, yes, you can tell Izuku gets a lot of punches, even gets clawed a few times. But ultimately, she calms down and hugs him, just showing that, yeah. Our kids are still safe. Izuku just happy. Oh, that's great to... Huh? Yes, our kids. Nani? Our children. I thought we only had one. <laughs> well, about that... Uh, focus your eyes. Try, try to see the blood vessels and whatnot. Okay, Izuku focusing. Is he? Yes, he sees two. Two for fetuses. It's like you, you gotta be kidding me. But I only heard one. It turns out they're in sync. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's great! I can't believe it. I. We. Oh, congratulations, bastard. Huh? Uh, Trevor, you're here too. Yeah, I, yeah, I am. Eh, yeah, we come to visit, just check up on everyone. Ah. Huh. So. Uh, you and say for the come with any names? What? Names for what? If you want to name your kids, you're going to wait until I'm sober. <laughs> what well, what's so funny? <laughs> you don't know, do you? No what? He was pretty much like, I'm pregnant, you dumbass. What? Yes! Haven't you noticed how I started snapping at you? Or, oh, I thought that was just you. You being in one of your moods. 
As yes, Trevor gets his butt lit a fire, a fire. So, yeah. you can say chestnuts were roasted on open fire that day. <laughs> As Izuku does relay all the information to his class, he does ask Toyami again, "What does anything really change here?" And yeah, Toyami, he just shakes his head. No, nothing has changed. So, you can imagine Izuku, he's wondering what, how, how is nothing? But we, I know we, I, we stopped the plot, didn't we? Are you sure there's nothing you may have missed or anything? No! I mean, we stopped the war, didn't we? I mean, though, yes, there must have been God knows how many casualties, but still. Yes. Hmm. What if death is still alive. No. No, no, no. Impossible. You saw all that explosion. Well, heck, I was in the brunt of it, and I felt it. So, tell me, how, how can you survive that? Hmm. What if he caused it? What? Think about it. Hmm. No, no, that's impossible. Is it? Is it really? I mean, though, yes, you utilized a impressive weapon, holy weapon, to vanquish him, so to speak. Hmm. Yeah. Death. The odds of him dying through normal means, oh, believe me, those were not normal means of death. Seriously. I understand what you're saying, but still. Are you telling me that we did all that for nothing? No, no, of course not. There just might be more to it. Like, say this. You, from being here, saving my wife, you stopped his initial plan, correct? Yes! And then he had to switch to a plan B using his puppet bishop. In which he was also thwarted by well, you, this time with more help from us. I see it as more of a team effort, but go on. Huh. You flatter me. But you also got to consider the fact that. Hmm. There's a chance he had a plan C. We truly don't know how many plans Death came up with just in case one failed. What? There's a chance there's a plan C, plan D, E, F, G, all the way to Z. Who knows, but perhaps he went straight to numbers or invented a whole new alphabet just to continue the possible contingency plans he had in place. Uh. So you're really saying that we could just be fighting him for all eternity. That we could just do nothing but delay his inevitable plan. 
that will sooner or later come to fruition. All we can do is delay him. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to really tell you, young Midoriya. All I do know. <sighs> Life of a hero is never done. And that is what you are. However long you end up fighting, Chazar, you shall never know true peace. <sighs> ah. Well, damn. Get to know them, whatever we do, whatever I do, is meaningless. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You saved innocent lives. Yeah, I also took a few innocent lives myself. That's debatable. <laughs> Whatever. Hmm. You do have a point. <sighs> yeah. It's not easy being a hero. Part of me still wonders what in the hell I was thinking. I wanted to do this as a profession. Hmm. Oh well. We stopped death. At least this time we did. I really hope you're wrong, so we could just close this chapter. I guess we should prepare for just in case you you're correct. That would be the smartest decision to make. I know. <sighs> so, what's the next order of business? Well, we must convene with the other surviving vampires. Why'd you say it like that? Though, yes. Vampires are very resilient and whatnot. It's best if people don't know where they reside. Especially during daylight hours. No. Yes. The humans who were retaliated against the vampires staying there, even those who were recently under the rule of vampire, raided the homes of said vampire during the daylight. As soon as the sun began to rise and laid siege to their dwelling. So there aren't as many of us as there once was before. And we called a meeting. Or at least I did. <laughs> I can't believe this. Believe it. Though the humans have suffered great casualties, so have we. And we must address that. If things don't go according to the plan, this could lead to another war. <sighs> Damn it. I did not consider that. Don't worry. If anything, I'm sure everyone will understand that it wasn't the human's fault. It was the work of death. Are you sure they're going to understand that? Why wouldn't they? You gotta think, death. I mean, people know of death, but not really the, it being an actual person. Hmm. You make a good point. Very good point. Yes. 
I could definitely see that being an issue. An issue is putting it lightly. It would be very problematic. Yes. No, no doubt in my mind, it very much could. Just imagine the amount of carnage. Exactly. Izuku, he gets ready for his being, and seeing the amount of vampires that are left, he still is like, wow, there's still hundreds of these bloodsuckers here. Him realizing, wow, there are a lot more than I anticipated. Pretty much wondering how. How many vampires are there really? How it has to be crazy easy for them to be reproduced and whatnot, which makes it even if you're not careful, if you rub one the wrong way. Ugh. Yeah, that's morbid. Eh, oh well. Is these herbs gonna get better if I can if I can't get my bearings? I just gotta consider the fact that yeah things are not gonna be easy. sure my family has somewhere to live. I don't know what to really do. I, I put, I'm so close. My kids our kids if I'm not careful That could be the end of them. All of us. I'm a vampire as well. I gotta think about not just my people, my family. Why, why, why is this ha to happen? Why can't things just be simple like they used to be? Oh, I miss it so much. I miss the ease of life. Zugu, he is really contemplating everything that he's been going through over, over this course of time. Though he's not really complaining about all the hell he's had to go through. It still doesn't make it that much easier when he can tell things aren't so peachy. Having to deal with not only the vampires wanting to do things their own way, humans still like. Mm, we want to feel safe on this planet as well. So at the very least, give us some, you know, want some guarantees that we're going to be safe. Who wouldn't want that? But, <laughs> yeah, even though they do explain, yeah, death was... Is what calls this. They are not so easily believed. 
Even when Dracula says, yeah, it turns out death isn't really a concept, it's his physical being. You expect us to believe you. Yeah. How, how is that possible? Don't worry about how it's possible. It's possible. We've done it. We have killed death. Yeah, we find that very, very hard to believe. Don't get me wrong, though, yes, the fighting is over. We've lost a lot of people due to this war that the humans created. <laughs> okay. So, what? What do you want? Oh, we just want some retribution, some payback. We've lost so many livestock. I'm sorry, livestock? You know. Our humans. Though, yes, we have uh, gorged ourselves quite a bit. It's still problematic. Are you really saying yes? We just need some, uh, for lack of a better word, <laughs> renewal of our resources. You want more humans? Yes, of course. See, this new one understands. Do you have any idea? what the humans went through. Who cares? This is about us. Do you, would you rather us run rampant? Have them serve no true consequences for what they've done to us. I'm sorry. For what they've done. Yes. And what of you? Excuse me? Yes. What What have you done to them? Did you consider that? We did what we had to to protect ourselves. No, you went on a killing spree because you wanted a late night snack and decided, eh, it was a few more until you realized that you exhausted your supply to the near few drops you can get. <laughs> Listen, boy, that's not my name. Well, it doesn't matter. Cause look here, at the end of the day, they outnumber us. So what does it matter if we take a few more of them? <sighs> a few more. What would you consider to be a few more, if you don't mind me asking? Mm. I say two three, maybe even ten hundred. You want a thousand humans to be relocated to your territory? Yes, yes, that, that sounds perfectly reasonable, don't you think? I mean, at the very least, then we can ensure that we are well fed. Hmm. 
Yeah, I bet that would keep your stomachs in check, wouldn't it? Precisely. Huh. You really have a pair of brass ones on you, don't you? Excuse me? You seem to really not care about how you affect those around you. As long as you make sure that you keep stuffing your face, you don't care about what happens to the people you just so happen to. Oh, no, 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 you misunderstand me. Oh, really? Of course, of course we care about humans. I mean, life wouldn't be the same without them. Now, all I'm suggesting is that the humans, at least, let's say a few of them, get relocated. I mean, we have so many mouths to feed, it would be ludicrous for us not to at least, you know, So, does anyone else agree with him? He said, "Good to see the raised hands." Of the Dracula. I know what you're saying, Izuku, but I had to think of everyone in this regard. Yes, yes, you do. Just think of the humans and the vampires. And remember what? Be careful on which side you choose. You know I... Oh, I do. I know how much you care for humans. I'm not... <sighs> I'm not judging you on that. Not at all. I'm just saying. Just consider, you're not just toying with the lives of, of mere mortals here. Humans are a lot tougher given them the right motivation. And what is that supposed to mean, Pop? Excuse me? You heard me. <laughs> did, did this fine bastard just really call me a pup? It sure sounded like it. <laughs> Give me the... Hello. Well, there she is, the one who sent all these <laughs> uh, did, come on, did finish your sentence? Not my place. You know what I mean. Do I? Come on, you can you can speak your mind here. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, besides one of us gutting you. I never had vampire blood before. 
you you will pissing. Watch your mouth. This boy saved my wife. Ah yes, your little blood bag. Excuse me. Oh forgive me, Lord Dracula. I mean, it's obvious why you can keep her around. I mean <laughs> Yeah, she loves you as much as you say. <laughs> okay, but how far can you really get without having at least one drop of human blood? Especially from someone so full of life as her. You dare talk to my wife as though she's nothing more than what a nightcap a little top off before you go blood crazy what else would you be feeding off of the little wooden critters that you just so happen to run across every so often Is this one smart ass vampire is pretty much mouthing off being seemingly very open in his words. Izuku is just wondering, okay, something doesn't feel right. Why does it feel like he's just deliberately trying to provoke someone? Like he, he wants to start trouble. No, no, no. Is it good thinking? Could this? <sighs> Dracula, you may have been right. What? About what? Gotta be used. more specific, El Midoriya. I think there is more to this than what meets the eye. Chances are, death is already. No. Yep. Is yes, this vampire is quickly killed by none other than Dracula himself. And though, yes, this is quite the spectacle, it does look good for the other vampires to see that, yeah, Lord Dracula just killed one of them. Though, yes, it may seem just five seeing he's mouthing off, but this speech started with what we're all going through. Is this is pretty much when Izuku tries to start talking about, yeah, there's more to this than you think. Sadly. No one really wants to listen to him, especially considering the fact that, yeah, you just killed one of us for sticking up for everyone here. Chances are, yeah, you are using that wife of yours as a blood bag. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. We don't know. But one thing for certain, you may have a large supply of blood but us we don't have that anymore and then it starts to go to a full on riot of vampires killing other vampires and starting to feed off them pretty much trying to get more territory while also getting a bit more strengthened 
Izugu's realizing why the vampires are still not a problem in his timeline. The civil war with vampires. Vampire versus vampire can be drastically problematic. So, yeah, upon realizing what causes the eradication of vampires, Izuku is obviously trying his best not to freak out everyone. It's a lot easier said than done. Camilla, being how she is, she's very concerned about the well-being of Izuku and her child. Eh, well, children. Let's not kid ourselves. This is the whole fact that... Mm, Izuku? He's more worried about making sure that his family has a future at all. Easier said than done, of course. But it being Kazuku, he's of course, as you can imagine, very willing to do whatever he can. I'm trying to find out how can I actually stop these vampires from killing and feeding off each other and possibly eradicating their own race. Yeah. These guys know choice but to join the fight. Instructing Camila to pretty much step back and I'll take care of it. She doesn't like that. She she is not like that at all. Him pretty much like you stay, stay back while I fix this. It just irks her. It rose her the wrong way. Like you you think I can't help you? He's gonna even get be able to get a word in as Camila starts the slaughter of vampires now. Hey, Zuku, drag it up. Oh, this is why it, it, it was going so well. Yes, yes, it was. Yeah, I'm sorry to say <laughs> that this is uh, probably for the best. What? Maybe we should be gone. What? I'm saying maybe it's best for us not to interfere in the affairs of mortals anymore. Maybe it's best for us just to remain legend. Please don't say that. Yeah, Midoriya. I thank you. W what are you doing? Uh, this was going to be a surprise, but... Dragon grabbing Izuku, opening up a portal and throwing him through. Izuku seeing a glass mirror as he rams right through it. And as soon as he opened his eyes, he's back at UA High School. <laughs>